5.30, I call the February 12, 2019 Plymouth Village Water and Sewer District meeting to order. I make a motion we accept the minutes from the January 22nd, 2019 meeting. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I make a motion we accept the payroll and manifests as presented. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Signatures, please. Looks like there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. Well, I saw the number. I knew there were a lot. Well, um, there's a big payment to um, Emory and Garrett in there. And there's a couple other big payments. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Internal. No. Right. Just moving funds around. I signed it. Good. I'm the last dog. Sunday night is a Super Bowl. Absolutely no Super Bowl. Good. Couldn't tell him to call it. Good. I mean, no one got arrested and nothing got broken. So. No, then that's a good coach's burn. Yes. No coach's burn. Right? Like the old days. Yeah. But it was pretty anticlimactic, right? I didn't watch the game, but everybody said it was sort of like, yeah. Yeah. That was one of the worst football games I have ever seen in my life. I think it was the lowest scoring game ever. Though they had set a bunch of records. The longest field goal, the most... Um, I didn't know you were aficionado. No, no. It was... <laughs> she read an article. <laughs> she, she read an article. <laughs> no, did not read an article. Actually watched the game. <laughs> Just pile them higher and deeper. There you go. On the kickoff, the punter, the, the kickoff kick, made the tackle. The, the kicker. The kicker on the kickoff. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a long run. Oh, it was a short. No, he, he kicked off. The, the Patriots received it. And actually, no. Patriots yeah, received, didn't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And their kicker tackled the guy and knocked him out of bounds. So. Good. Nice play. New business instead of old game? Sure. <laughs> Jeez, I like just talking about the whole game. <laughs> so, um, meeting with uh, Don Jutton and Jason. Yes. Come on up, please, Don. Jason. Good evening. I don't think you've met Bobby Clark. Nope. Robert Clay, Treasurer. Oh, Bob, Bob, nice to meet you. Long time friend and treasurer. Citizen. Good citizen of Plymouth. Friend of yours? Friend of mine. Oh, yeah. speaks shady, shady, my shady. Yeah. <laughs> we don't hang out, but we used to, on Main Street. Mm -hmm. Body owned a business. Down so, down. Did you slide over? I did. Good? I did. Did I get to slide home? Well, it wasn't as bad coming over. Your parking lot is... Yeah, it's a little... Maybe may be here for the duration. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you park? Uh, once over, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, still there, vice over there. Yes, right there so, yeah. Be careful yeah. walking. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Careful. When I came around the corner, I yep. spun out, but I caught myself. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get dangerous with that yeah. light snow you're supposed over to there. Get, we're supposed to get a lot. Yeah. 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 Yep. Could see 12, I think. Yep. Yeah. That's what they're saying about a foot. There's yeah. no such thing as a good 12. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not in February. You we're guys are better already? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we met together last week. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So, Donna, we you know we spoke with you about Jason. Um, I think the first time you came to the board, and you know we thought it would be a good idea to bring Jason here. And and, I, and really, what we wanted to ensure that we all knew is that you know I think we look forward to you coming on board. I think it's 
it's, it, I think you, you have a lot to learn. I think you know a lot already. Um, I think one of the, the the great things we you have going for you is that you have Jason here. Um, Jason has um, his thumb on the pulse of what's going on at the plant. I think you'll be able to rely on him a lot. Um, I know you know how water systems work, how waste systems work. Uh, they're all different. Uh, Jason is clearly your guy who is going to be able to guide you and showing you how that how that process works. I'm, I'm sure Jason will be relying on you too for a lot of things too. But you know, don't um, lie. Yeah, <laughs> we have <laughs> we have a tremendous amount of confidence in Jason, um, and we have had that for a while. So um, I think uh, I think you're both in good hands. Okay. Well, so. he impressed me. In our first meeting, we're we're going to do a tour on Thursday. Night. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. And so he'll keep me out of trouble. Yeah. Have you been down to the plant at all? No. That's what we're going to do Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Thursday. Okay, yeah. first thing. So, Jason, how are we recovering from that big hole you put up in Reservoir Road? <laughs> we're uh, just getting back to normal, yeah. believe it or not, now. Uh, as of Friday, some folks still had some issues up in the Maple Street Hilltop yep. area, Pleasant Street. And um, I think the campus, they're all set now. They yes. do have some air issues as well. And um, I hadn't heard that, but maybe mm. there are low-level things I hadn't heard about, but there, there could be. Yeah. From, from yeah. what I've heard, I think we're all back to normal as far as, yeah. Since but that yeah. was on Maple Street, was Aaron still Aaron? in the system? Yeah, what happened was, I think, um, long story short, the system was drawn down and the pipes were emptied. Then when we went to refill it, it pushed all the air up into the, the ancillary lines um, and it got trapped there. So you really can't get it out flushing. You'd have to go to the highest point, obviously, and bleed it out, which mm -hmm. is usually people's second floor in their mm -hmm. residences if they have them. Yeah. Or the higher We haven't buildings. had any calls in a couple of days since I, I it corresponded with those people up on the top. Yeah. Was it break, major break? Major break, yes. Major, major break, yeah. So. Freeze? Did it freeze? No, uh, it was just a stress crack uh, right around the, the pipe. It could have been from a water hammer, possibly. It was right at the junction of a T. You know, we should do a shout out too for all our operators that oh, yes. 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 be out there for that long to get that thing repaired as quickly as they did. And Andrew's Construction really chipped in. And Thank you to stuff. Andrew's Thank Construction. Goodness. Yes. Yep. That, and, and that was not a fun project. I stopped by and it was really cold and I, I saw guys up to their knees in, in mud. And that, this didn't look fun at all, 12 feet down on the ground. Yep. So not, not a fun thing to do. So. They work hard. That's yeah. when you take pictures. Like you put them on the website and say, see, this is what we were doing to help mm -hmm. fix it. Yeah, I mean, just so people understand. Mm -hmm. That's good PR stuff. Chris, anything? Um, nothing comes to mind immediate. Um, I guess we could talk a little bit about going forward as far as yep. our goals mm -hmm. for the next couple of months. I think that's probably... Uh, well, Mel's got go those covered. I mean, we've yeah. got district meeting coming up, and I'm assuming you will oh, attend yes. that. And, um, after district meeting, it will be uh, one new board member a change over in the chairmanship probably mm -hmm. and um, chairpersonship um, and start to develop yeah we redevelop have to redevelop the CIP, the CIP right, right. Um, so mm -hmm. you and Jason are gonna really need to put your heads together about what was on there and what got changed and pushed down the pipe because of deciding not to accept all the grant money and then maybe even starting to look for new grant money I mean the job is to keep moving us in a forward direction um, so that we can Which work on some of the projects that we know are going to start we're going to start having these projects next year depending on what we come up with with the CIP right so well, there, there's also the issue of um, issues that remain open, um, namely the, the you know the, 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 the Holderness School and the yeah. university, the agreements. I mean, there are a number we of. We talked about okay, good. Those at some length the other the other morning, and we'll keep talking. Well, about I just feel like it's important that we have a good shopping list of all those things. I mean, some well, of them, I have some a of list. them, 
Okay, I'm ready. confident that you do. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, but some you're of them get a big binder. Also <laughs> cut back. But some go back as much as a you know a year now, and mm -hmm. you know it's it's easy to for us to, to forget about that. You know we were knee deep in, in yeah. right. things that that still need periodic attention. Sure. Well, yeah. I'll have a learning curve. I'll try not yeah. to be an Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm careful not to leap before I look. Yes. So, um, <laughs> and I know some of the stuff we wanted to focus on were some financial things and making sure BMSI That's is doing what BMSI needs to be doing and I'll look at it. Um, get the software program the and, and understand right. where we are. And I've looked at the budget already. They know that your meeting after the meeting, I want to be sure that I understand your the financial situation. Yeah. Right. And well, that reminds me, um, Don has a person who wants to bring over to see what we can do to improve that operation. Right. At no, yeah, at no cost to us. Okay. So first, I, I wanted the to, first visit. Yeah. I mean, it's yep. not a forever. I just wanted to run. Yeah. Great. But it's part of my due diligence just to make sure that I understand. Great. Actually, she's been here before. That's Rita yeah. Donaldson. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought you were going to bring Brenda. Well, I'm going to re bring Rita first because Rita had uh, has fundamental. I may bring them both yeah. actually, but I spoke to Rita this evening okay. and want to make sure that I've got the right. And head I'm around assuming the, you met Kim as well. Uh, uh, maybe the same. Office, maybe. I didn't, Not yet. I didn't meet him. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I waited. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kim is our right hand, keep the office functioning person. Okay. Um, I already bragged about her. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, she's she she's deserves not, all the stars on her shoulders. No, she is not. Like, her title is office manager, okay. and she does that well. She keeps the guys in line. Okay. I respond <laughs> she, well. She I've been married a long time. I know she's she quiet and she's smart and she gets it done. She knows a lot. She's yes. got a lot of history. Unsung hero, really. Yep. She's our happy voice on the phone when yep. you call. To think of yeah, I think, I think that covers um, yeah. covers most of what's on my mind. I mean, we might have. Well, I will. I, I'm headed south for a couple of, couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. I'll be spending yeah. time here. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll do my best to get up to speed. We'll spend time the week of your hearing. Mm -hmm. your, your Meaning, meeting, your yeah. Meeting. Yeah. But um, you'll have my cell phone. You'll know how to reach me, and I respond well to criticism. Then you know. If I break it, I'll fix it. Okay. Um, so. Good to know. <laughs> My favorite quote of yours is, we'll do the right things for the right reason. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, we... We, we, we told St. John's Bird that special. We, yes. You know, we, <laughs> we, I laugh and say, we sell them what they want, and then we deliver what they need. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. oftentimes we find that what they want isn't necessarily what they need. What they, what yes, they need. That's well, right. of course. You know, we know that well and here with our millions, mm -hmm. tens of millions of dollars of projects we could be yep. undertaking. Yeah, I, I will um, I'll work hard to get my head around that and be able to give you reasonable advice. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I laugh and say, you know, my value really is in not what I know, it's who I know. And so, resources. Yeah, I know who mm -hmm. to ask about most everything. Mm -hmm. so and my wife, who tells me what I think. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason's got good contacts at the state, yep. and you yeah, know, we've he's chatted already definitely about some people we know in common. He's our walking encyclopedia. So, yep. Rolodex. I'm gonna get you a shirt with all these nicknames on it. <laughs> <laughs> Man of many hats. Yeah. Exactly. We're glad you, you so are. So, when will you have here. your organizational meeting? Do you, we'll do that. Following they, they're the going to decide tonight, maybe. Oh, okay. Or it's on. It's on now. Those things. I guess it depends on how long the district meeting goes. We have done it the following Tuesday. Sometimes, sometimes we've done it right after district meeting if district meeting is short enough. It should be short. Yeah. yeah. So this, this we year have should be since with so few warrant articles right. that it and seems. Worthwhile. To Who's up for re-election? We've just got a commissioner, and is that it? No, there's another office. Um, it's uh, a moderator. Moderator. It's a moderator, moderator. Because moderator was appointed. Okay. To finish this year. Okay. And needs to. Needs to and go. Quentin's running. Yeah, he filed. Okay. Yeah. 
Great. Okay. Well, we look forward to working with you. Yeah. Well, yes. I'll try to maintain yes. that. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And we, appre- yeah, we yeah. appreciate yeah. you so coming over here on it. such an evening. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Jason, so, do you have um, any questions? I guess uh, just timing wise, you know, I know we talked about moving forward with redeveloping the CIP. Is that something we want? You know, within the first few months, or is that something we're looking out to the you know August fall next budget round? Or what you well, what you have said is after town meeting, right? right. You yeah, you we, I think we just have to further. start. Okay, I just didn't know. Yeah, we just got to start uh, looking at it, and you know, you've got the um, capital improvements plan, um, and we know what Wright Pierce has dictated should come first and I guess right. we need to prioritize those now that we're not doing them all at once okay. so you know taking those ones that we got the grants for and going okay since we passed up doing them all at the same time mm-hmm. which is the big one that we want to tackle after the well and then what comes next okay. and what comes next so maybe we'll have some work sessions together to kind yeah, of try to move forward. I think Don through. Yes. would you be. You have much of a contingency reserve? We have 1.3 million plus. Undesignated? No, no, no. Those are all designated for capital, capital reserve. reserve. Mm-hmm. But are they are they contingency or how much contingency? I mean, the the challenge. You mean water. in the budget contingency? No. You mean if something goes completely yeah, I mean, and we major, need to you had a major break one of the challenges with water systems particularly if you if you're delaying right capital projects is making sure you've got enough free cash some someplace that we have, we have um, emergency we have, we have well over 1.3 million and the board are authorized as okay. agents to expend and in this case we, you know there is ample money to uh, okay. cover if we need it I mean we might be able to squeeze it out of the budget Andrews treated us very fairly very well in, and, in billing us. and we do have some emergency funds okay. built into the. There's some contingency in either budget yep. too. Okay. That we don't always use. We don't have to. So That's we good. Don't, yeah, no, we don't. We have it there, but we don't use it unless we have to. So it's, they break when you least. Yeah. Yep. In the middle of winter. Oh, yeah. Super Always in the middle super of winter. Bowl. Right. That's of course. What, what, yeah. I still didn't watch the Super Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, we You're not missing feet, anything. Feet <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you, so six feet? The line was 12 feet. Really? Deep, yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's your average? Challenging one. What's your average depth? Average is uh, six to 10 feet. Yeah. Do you, is this a frost challenge play community? Um, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of ledges. Frost use. Well, most of our lines are in the roadway, so yeah, you're going to yeah. have the deepest frost. We'll there. cover. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got all those frost heaps now that are popping up, and it's the uh, this was particular was a 1950s cast iron line, so we have a significant amount of lines from the early 1900s that are cast iron still. So, mm-hmm. so they're prone to cracking. Yeah. yeah, if you would have seen this crack, it was a, a radial crack right around the pipe, and it was a straight line, straight as an arrow. You couldn't make <laughs> it any straighter. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Nice. So it just went. Yeah. Weak spot. Yeah. Right. Nice. All right. Moving forward. Yeah, I think that's. I think that covers it. Well, thank okay. you again. Thank you, yes. Hmm? yes. Thank you, I said. Oh, yeah. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Don. It's nice to meet you, Don. Nice to be met. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm sure we'll have you. You're sticking around, right? I'm sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> Don says, I am not sticking around. I'm going home before it gets any worse. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you don't mind. No, yeah, no go. <laughs> and I'll, yeah, so I'll be back Thursday morning, 9 o'clock. Right, Don? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, we'll see that. Okay, thanks. Good, Good night. Good night, Don. Maybe back in 30 seconds. <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> don't fall. Yeah. So m- moving on to old business, we have a uh, Wright Pierce uh, G. SA, if I may call it that, General Services Agreement. For the development of the well funding. Ah, uh, yes. Um, applications. Yeah, this is all filing all the applications, right? Right, and it's built into the budget, which is also attached. The budget for that, if you remember, is $600,000 for the exploration through permitting, and then there's 2.7 authorized, unborrowed. To do to do the um, distribution piece, right? 
you'll see in that budget there's another four hundred thousand dollars that is um, attributable to a pump station at Holden School, and I guess Jason can explain better, but um, Holders can opt into that if you know they can make that choice when they. So it's something it's we're not. not something that we're anticipating paying for. I see. Okay. okay. And well, they need, or they might need, or is that, or is it too unknown? They, but anyway, we're not paying for they, it. So they expressed <laughs> that their uh, their water tank up there is getting old, and they'd like to look at other avenues uh, rather than replacing it. Uh, so one of the options was adding fire booster pumps um, into the adjacent treatment facility that we would be building out. Um, and their cost portion for that, which we've presented to them, is about $400,000. Less um, expensive than putting in a whole new tank? I'm not sure exactly what the tank mm -hmm. price is, okay. but that's, I was just wondering that's the option. If they had shared that. Yep. That's the option we'd, uh, we'd provide to them. Okay. And uh, if they choose to go that route, there would be potential cost sharing with that facility. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, Maintenance right. and yep. things right. like that. Right. That's yep. great. As time goes by, that cost may be refined. And I saw a note from Chris Berg saying that it could be less. Just mm -hmm. But it's one to watch. Right, right. It's a lot of money. Well, also we're important to remind the public, too, that we got a big Half amount of money. Half in the grant. 50%. Yeah, 1.65 million. Yes. So it's not we clear. Need a motion, right? Yeah, I'm sure we need a motion. It's not clear who's signing it, whether we're authorizing you. you or me. Okay. Right. Yeah. When you're the chair. Okay. So, I mean, so once you mm -hmm. vote it, it doesn't matter. Really. Okay. Right. Okay. Make a motion that Chris sign the general services agreement for um, engineering with Wright Pierce for filing all of the applications associated with the well project in Holderness, eighteen thousand six hundred dollars. So moved. All's in favor. Aye. 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 Next up, um, announcement about our rates. Um, the board would like to again announce uh, to the public that, uh, to, the, to the district, that our rates are going up and that um, our new rates are as follows, a $62.50 minimum charge for water and uh, $12.97 per thousand gallons after that. And then on the sewer side, $112.50 minimum for sewer and $15.64 $15 per thousand gallons after that. Um, we also would like to remind uh, everybody, if, if you haven't heard this yet, and the primary reason our rates are going up is, is our overwhelming need to save money to prepare ourselves for what we feel are inevitable breaks that may occur, especially considering that we haven't moved ahead with a number of projects that we were in discussion last year, and so we're to save the projects. Yeah, so right. we're saving. Yeah, we're also saving. Yeah, we're also saving. We hope to be able to slowly save up enough money to tick off those some of those projects in the in the long run. So we're we're putting a two hundred thousand dollars each in the water and sewer budgets, and you know, funding that is is not inexpensive. So. Um, that is the reason for this announcement again tonight. Just hope getting the word out and uh, people won't uh, be surprised or shocked. Yeah. So that, yeah, there's no surprises in there. And we and I guess just for also worth mentioning, we hope we feel like this is a new normal. We realize the rates are going up and that's really going to impact people a lot. But it's not like this is the beginning of some trend. We hope that we can hold the line and this will be some type of new level that we can can stay at for the at least the next few years. Okay, so next up is purchase recs. All right, so we've got about six. Any new business before, any other new business before oh, yeah. purchase recs? No, I don't have my hand up. Okay. I guess the only other thing was we, we kind of discussed informally about uh, 
maybe putting something on the website about last week's break. Do you so, want to talk about it for um, folks at home? Yeah. Well, um, as many people probably heard, the water was out uh, last Sunday and Monday for a good portion of town. We had a major break um, up by the, on Reservoir Road by the, the storage tank, and our staff um, were working there for very long hours to fix what was a, a, a main line for our water supply. And we, are, we thank all of those who were there working late into the night, both Sunday and Monday, uh, to get that fixed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's big things like this that turn, happen on a, a moment's notice that are the reason, it's part of the reason our budget is what it is. These are, these are rarely are they minor things. Uh, once again, we thank our staff for, for their efforts to fix that quickly. And we'll, we'll get something yeah. on the website. As yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. 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 And we have been informed that by our superintendent that pretty much things are 99.9% back, .9 back to normal. Air has been bled out of the lines. The water's running clear again. And there should hopefully be no more follow-up issues. Yeah. Correct? My question is, did we lose a lot of water capacity? I mean, did we lose a lot? Did we pump up? You mean water? I mean, water? Did, yeah. Did we lo I mean, did it significantly affect our our supply? No. No, I, I think we, we caught it fairly quick on Saturday. Uh, we did notice the the um, flow go up on Saturday. Uh, so that was the initial alarm. Um, so we reached it on Sunday evening. We were able to shut it down. We did have to turn it back on on Sunday night once we abandoned the first hole we dug. So there was additional leak by Sunday night into Monday. Um, we had the second shut off about 12.30 on Monday um, and, and finished the repair. Okay. So Jason, the yeah. first indicator that there was a problem was over, over usage, not a actually water coming out of the ground? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And so you, it, you, you, you noticed it on Saturday? On Saturday morning when the on-call operator did rounds, he did notice an increase from normal um, but at that time, it's you know it's really don't you know, you don't know until you start chasing it or someone finds it. You know you could chase it all over town to try to find something, um, but until it really mm -hmm. pops up, so. you, it, there's no real opportunity. Um, and it probably took a while from 12 feet under. Right. Yeah. yeah there was that. with uh, five feet of frost, it didn't pop up in the road like it particularly it typically does. It actually followed the road box right up from the valve and came out the road box. Uh, so if that road box wasn't there, we may have never found it even in that time frame. It might have took weeks to find it. Oh, wow. Um, People that own the Terrio's house might have found it. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd also like to, to thank the uh, users for their patience during that yeah. break as well. There's a lot of people were affected. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Jason, and everybody who yes. worked hard. So back to purchase Yeah, racks. back to purchase racks. We've got uh, six this week. And one of them is that right Pierce one for 18-6. Uh, just so, just so, one of the, you had the agreement. In oh, I see. Okay. Was, all right. Very good. Yeah. So first up is uh, 13500 to Atlantic Coast Polymers for Polymer. Uh, number two, $8,109 to Certified Computer. For our annual IT um, equipment maintenance. Oh, and I put that note so we remember to act. There's an agreement attached to that oh, as okay, well because yes. that needs to be acted on and signed. All right. For a and then uh, we have uh, number three, forty-two hundred dollars payable to certified for our server lease um, to operate the uh, asset management software. That's our new change to the network. Uh, number four, eighteen thousand six hundred to Wright Pierce. Uh, which we just which we just previously voted on, uh, five one thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars and seventy two cents to Applied Industrial for components for the clutch at pump station number seven. There's more detail on the PO if you want. Okay. And um, then lastly, number six sixteen thousand nine hundred eighty three dollars and fifty eight cents payable to Andrews Construction for the repair of the water main break on Reservoir Road that we've just been talking about. And the additional expenditure will be in the spring when the road gets paved. Oh, right. yes, right. Yes. Right. Got to yes. repave it. Yep. All right. I'll so make a motion. motion. We accept the purchase recs as read. So moved. All those in favor? 
Aye. 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 I also make a motion that we act on the agreement for certified computer for the annual IT uh, equipment maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, and that agreement was associated with the $8,100 purchase order. So moved. Thank All those in favor there. Aye. Aye. Looks like that's we're, we're authorizing me to sign that agreement. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so let us begin. Week after. Week after. The, other, the other thought that popped into my mind while this is going on is that the rates that we talked about that's quarterly. Yeah. And we didn't uh, say that. Yeah. Oh, we yes, talked yeah. About it. We that. should yes, make yes. sure that everybody understands that's a quarterly rate. Public comment this evening, Mr. Sansusi. Anything? No, not really. <coughs> I, I, I guess there's only one thing I would like to <coughs> have you clarify. What you said about the rates, you're expecting to hold them for the next couple of years. Now that that's our intention. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, um, I didn't think that was totally the intention. I thought we were planning on increasing incrementally. Consistently. Um, well, I, th I, th I thought that we had, after a lot of discussion, we decided to jump in and, and set what was an, amounts to be a new level. Yeah. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but I thought that we talked about this quite a bit. I think two things happened. One is what Judy said, that the board had intended to have the rates go up incrementally. And then things changed, and we set the rates as they are. And so I don't, I don't know that you've talked about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that we can say that the rates aren't going to go up. It really depends on what well, happens. Well, I mean, that's true. I mean, I, I mean, you know, beyond, uh, beyond uh, the near future. Uh, oh, for, well, I didn't expect you would say for a number of years. Guaranteed, they're not going to go yes. up. Right. But yes. your intent is. To try and keep them at the rate they are, yeah. the right. level. So, so I mean, as a as a new stance, we have um, we're looking ahead to raising two hundred thousand for both water and sewer, mm -hmm. and we feel, I mean, unless there's some further discussion going forward, that that's a number that um, we can live with as far as its impact on the rates, and so we're going to use that to start accumulating money. Um, you know, perhaps we're going to revisit our CIP at some point, or there's going to be a project that suddenly we realize it has to be done. You know, and th at that point, um, we're going to have to borrow, and that's going to impact the rates. But I mean, you know, <laughs> we're all kind of um, we're at a regrouping stage now, and we're looking to the water supply. I mean, that's really the only project that's on on the on the table at the moment. So. That's a good way to put it. I think that the answer right. is that the board needs to regroup after the decisions were made that had been made in the last few months. So, I mean, easily this could be six to 12 months of, of, uh, of just working through that CIP process and, mm -hmm. and reviewing things. You know, we've also, as you now know, we have a new district administrator coming on, so 
a lot of a lot of uh, changes and a lot of discussion I'm sure will be happening here in the new year. Yeah, and I think we go, you know, um, unfortunately got into trouble for a few years not raising the rates mm, appropriately, yes. and that's why we're in the situation we are now. And I thought one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we carried forward was that we didn't put ourselves back into that situation. Right. So, you know, it's just a matter of making sure that if we are raising rates that we're doing so with the right frame of mind and, you know, not coming back and having to do another massive rate increase like this one. Yeah, I mean, almost every year there is a there is a cost of living increase. I mean, we've been in low inflation for many years, but you know, our costs go up. We have we've seen some a bump up in the cost of chemicals to run the plant, so you know, our our costs aren't fixed. So, if we're not raising rates at least a smidge to follow the cost of living, then our budget's going down. Right. Yeah. So well, we understand. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that yeah. I kind of understood. Right. Your intent is to try and keep it there. You're not guaranteeing it. Right. I understand. That. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Next dates. Oh, right. Um, I had put February 26th in the draft um, agenda, and I wanted to tell you tonight that I, I have a potential for a conflict on that night, which is two weeks from tonight. So, alternatively, we could meet on Monday, or we could meet next week and then the week after this. So meet on the 19th? Um, we could meet on the 19th, and then whatever the next Tuesday is, it could be March something. Second. March 2nd, as you like. Uh, how much do we have to prep before the meeting? And it's actually March 5th. March 5th, I was on the wrong month, I'm looking. Um, you know, what do you, I mean, there's not much on the warrant. Right. So there's nothing else that we need to really prep for, make, there, there's, I mean, because it's three weeks, so if, I just want to make sure that there's nothing in those, right? Is it three weeks or two weeks? Oh. It's three weeks, right? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it would be the Seems third like week that we'd be meeting. Monday, the 25th would probably be, huh, might be the easiest. Yeah, I can. We could meeting. We could not meet next uh, next week and just come in on the on the twenty fifth, the Monday night. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Monday just night. to have a regular meeting, I'll just do it the night before. Yeah. It's great. Does that, that work for? Does that work for everyone? I'm gone. Oh yeah. So on the. Are you going anyway? I'm sorry. The whole week. Yeah. I got lost. Oh, that's fine. On the twenty sixth then. That's what I said. You had to have no, the twenty fifth potentially. Yeah. Because Mel five. can't be the twenty. But yeah, we already arranged that. Right. Right. So the twenty sixth, twenty fifth. 25 Thank is you. Fine. Okay, right. good. I think that works. Right. And then if you want to go the step further, the elections are on the 12th. Right. The okay. annual meeting's on the 14th. Um, if we meet on February 25th and then again on. You mean March 25th, right? No. Oh, um, we have met Feb 25, February 25th, right? Yeah. Then. And then you'd meet. Um, well, technically. On the we would we would be supposed to meet on the 12th but if we just meet after district meeting on, on the 14th, 14th that's great that we yes. that's great okay yeah. could just do it all there we'll yeah that, so i'm 25th, all for that 25th, 25th and march 14th what right, time right at and night is the annual meeting six six why is that better? Well, i have a math meet that day i'm gonna have a hard time getting back by six i can be here by six thirty or so so well, it'll, we'll still be here. You'll be yeah, here. We'll be here. You'll be here. I don't have to be here for that anyway. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're not. Print will do a good job as mine. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Make a motion. We adjourn. Yes. Six ten.